Hello everyone, welcome back to my studio and another sewing tutorial here on this channel because it's this time of the year where we are making our own underwear. I'm running out of seamless underwear for my models so we have to restock and I have to get this sewing machine running because they are needing some nude seamless panties. Um, so this is usually the part in the video where I put the things on and I show it in front of the camera but this time I will not do it for obvious reasons. I'm not looking forward to get monetized in the future for this video or I haven't really reached that stage in my career yet where I'm ready to get naked in front of a camera. Neither do I plan to do so. so <laughs> Here you go, there it is. Doesn't it look so great? And now get ready to sew this cute pair of panties with me. I've been using this specific pattern for roughly 10 years now and it really has proven itself to be a good fit. I already cut out all of my pieces. As always with my sewing tutorials, you can find a pattern on my website and I will put the link into the description box. We've got a front piece a back piece and then also the part that goes between your leg it's kind of like a second layer for a bit more coverage and it makes it a bit more comfortable when it comes to panties if you know you know when it comes to the fabric it's very important that you use a jersey fabric that is obviously stretchy whenever i'm looking for fabric for seamless panties i'm looking more for a synthetic kind of fiber because we're gonna leave some of the edges open and basically unfinished and some of the jersey fabrics just start to fray and basically come undone and get holes and all that so i highly recommend using a synthetic fabric as for the part that goes a second layer between the legs. I very much recommend a natural fiber. I've got this small piece out of a cotton jersey and it makes it just a bit more comfortable and um, it's a lot more easier to wear and a lot better for a whole system. Like I said, if you know, you know. So I got my matching sewing thread already there, ready for the sewing machine. And I'm quickly gonna unpin the pieces because we don't need the pattern anymore. This is how I'm gonna set it up to pin it together. This is the front piece, this is the back piece and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the small piece that goes between the legs. I'm gonna pin it on here and then I'm gonna match this seam right here with this side of the front piece. I'm gonna pin it as well. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna start threading my sewing machine now and you've got a seam allowance of three millimeters. The three millimeter seam needs to go from here to here. Once I finish that seam, I make sure to fold together the back piece so it's really narrow. The next step is to close the sides of the smaller piece that goes between the legs and put the seam allowance insides of the whole construction so I try to fold it and pin it together so I can sew it later on with a seam allowance of three millimeter. Once you finish the seams on each of the sides, I can pull out the back piece and unpin it once again. I finish this step with doing two top stitches on each of the side with a millimeter distance to the edges. So this is what the edges look like. And please don't forget to lock stitch at the beginning of the seam and also at the ends. And as you can see, we've got the three millimeter of seam allowance on the part that you would see on the outside as well. So I'm gonna trim that back now on all four sides. You can either take small scissors for this or I'm just gonna take my bigger fabric scissors and I'm just gonna trim that away. And when I trim it away, I make sure that it is one consistent line. We've got the middle part between the legs ready now. So that is finished. 
And now we're going to close the side seams. So this is kind of a tricky part because obviously we're talking about a seamless panty, but we cannot really knit it ourselves, at least not that finely. If we really knit it, it will look quite different. However, we need to close the side somehow. So if we're looking at seamless panties you can buy at the stores, there are different ways on how the side seams are closed. It's usually with a flat lock stitch, but hardly any one of us has one of these machines at home. So I tend to close the side seams as usual as with any other garment. So I'm pinning the side seams together and the right side needs to be on the right side. And I'm gonna stitch this down with a seam allowance of three millimeter. So I've just stitched down the three millimeters on both of the side seams. And now I can turn it so everything should be in the right place. So the inside is where it needs to be. Since it's only a three millimeter seam allowance, it is a pretty small seam that shouldn't push through the garments too much. And it's also really important that um, it is a very strong seam and that it doesn't, like you can really see, I'm stretching it like crazy and it doesn't come undone. So that is another aspect is why I rather close it the usual traditional way. So we just have one more step to go and then it's basically done. For the last step, we're gonna work on the top of the panty, which needs a bit more strength to hold everything together. I mean, you could really use the panty as it is, but I really like to fold it inside out with one centimeter of seam allowance to give it a bit more strength so it really holds up where it needs to sit. So there's this fabric adhesive that I really like to use for them. It's basically something you can just buy on the roll per meter. And you can then just cut out any size you need. And this kind of adhesive or this kind of glue um, gets activated when you use steam on it. So it basically goes between layers of fabric and when you put steam on it and heat, that's when it kind of like melts and glues the two fabric sides together. So this is very useful. And you have to cut out one centimeter stripes, which are gonna go between the two layers of the top of the panty. We are done with the panties and they are doing an exceptionally good job. Like they do not push through the garments at all. So my beautiful Hans, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Bye, Selena.